Okay, so yes, we did have a Brighton career mode, but that is in the past now because as an ex Bournemouth University student and a soon to be graduate, I thought it would make more sense managing a club that I worked at while I was at Bournemouth University and that is no other than AFC Bournemouth. But little did I know the season I actually joined, they were going to gain promotion back into the Premier League. I literally remember the day that they got promoted back into the Premier League. I finished my job at half time and I was there on the sidelines and I watched everyone run onto the pitch which was pretty sick. This ball is signed by most of the Bournemouth players that I could get. I think it was the same day Liverpool came up and Bournemouth managed to beat them 1-0. Um, they were all in such a good mood I managed to get most of them to sign the ball so you can see most of their signatures are on this ball here. I also do want to quickly mention that I do actually have a really sore throat but I can't let that stop me from recording because I do really want to be consistent this year. I said I was going to be consistent this year and while I have finished uni and I have nothing stopping me at this current moment, I just want to put out as much content as I can to you guys. So I'd really appreciate it if you are new to the, cl the club. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload and drop a like down on this video as well if you do enjoy it as it will help a lot. Alright, so this is the team. This is what we are working with. I don't know how I feel about the 4 2 3 1 wide, and I don't know how I feel about one striker up top either. But Solanke is a beast, so I will allow it. He is definitely staying for a while. We do have a right mid in Brooks, but is yeah, 66 pace, I don't know. Hey! I don't know about that one. And yeah, while we have got some veterans, we've got oh, this is a star boy, isn't it? I know, I've heard about this guy, Scott. We might have to give him some running time. But yeah, as I was saying, while we do have some veterans in the teams, we do have some younger players as well that we do need to give a chance. As you know, I like giving the younger boys a chance, a chance to develop themselves and you know, get the playing time that they deserve at the club. So we're going to make that happen here. All right, so if we look at the squad hub, we get more of an insight into what is going on at the club. So as you can see, we've got goalkeepers till thy kingdom come, but we have got some of them on loan, as you can see, and one loaned into us from Inter Milan. But I like Neto, so I think we're going to stay with Neto for now. He is, oh, he's 33. Hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, and it seems like he's not the only one that's old in this squad as well. I think we're in dire need of some full backs because from what I've seen, we've only got two left backs and the other one is 59 rated. Moore is also a player so that I don't really consider part of my plans as well. So I know he's done, he's probably done some good things for the club. But, you know, more time I'm just seeing Dominic Solanke posted everywhere so you know but i don't really think more is part of my plans coming in here at the club so i think we're gonna try and find another club for him and some of the other veterans are gonna depart as well we're gonna try and get that transfer budget up all right so when it comes to scouts guys i'm gonna leave that to you guys i want you guys in the comment section to tell me where we should send our scout and i will send our scout there as you can see we've got a five star five star scout i didn't even know Bournemouth had this uh, I'll be real, I did not know exactly long, he's cooking, apparently. So, yeah, you guys in the comment section, let me know where we should send Zachary Long, and we will send him there, and hopefully he'll find us a little wonder kid. Boys, I forgot to check the Youth Academy, and look at this. We got two potentially 90 rated players. 93 on this guy, centre mid. Oh, and he's Italian, I like it. Slovakia, I like it. You doors that way, son. All right, so my transfer business here at the club is done, and we did not come in lightly at all. As you can see here, lots of players made room for new ones to come in. We sold one, two, three, four, five, six. Six players have left the club. I'm sorry if they were your fan favorites, but listen, new management is in, and we are not doing things lightly at all. I'm looking to make a statement in my first season in charge here at AFC Bournemouth and that is exactly what I'm looking to do. So first things first, I want to sign some fullbacks because we are in dire need. With everyone sold as well, our transfer budget is now 60 million. So obviously it's not that Chelsea transfer budget but we can definitely do something with this in our first season here at AFC Bournemouth. All right, so we've done some scouting and my boys in the back office, we don't play, all right? Listen, Marlo Gusto, the Chelsea right back from France. Hear me out, all right? I know it's Chelsea, but listen, I've seen this guy play and I don't think he's that bad. I think he could be pretty decent here at Bournemouth, you know? If we give him the platform, a decent team, some new boys to work around, I think we could be looking at a very, very, very solid right back here. And he's fast. 
all right that's what we like to see he's fast and he's only 20 as well i thought he was older than 20 when i saw him play for chelsea but apparently he's not he, he's 20 years old which is pretty sick and listen as an arsenal fan you know i had to get an arsenal boy in there somewhere but ruel waters when i was talking about building for the future i wasn't lying people listen i think this will be a very good sign as well so i think we're going to snap both of these two players up all right and just like that we have signed oh not this kick glitch had to ruin it didn't it had, had to EA. Oh. the last bit of business that i am going to do though before our first game in the premier league is i am going to settle the buy option with lewis since in, in, i can't say it right now he's coming in at 23.6 which is what they agreed for so we're going to go ahead and pay that it's only a scratch in our budget but yeah that is done he is now a full warmer player all right so for our coach staff um i've done what i can right now once again i don't really get how this works but i've done what i can and hopefully it pays off on the pitch the match day one is here and i'm excited we are playing west ham i'm not sure if it's home or away i do need to check that i'm pretty sure it's away maybe wrong though but this is the bournemouth side that we are experimenting with for our first game in charge here at AFC Bournemouth. And boys, I think it looks good. All right. Oh, wait, who's that? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Right. Sorry about that. Someone managed to get themselves on the team bus. Don't know how that happened. But this is the team that we have to play against West Ham. And I like the look of it very much. So for our first game as well, guys, I'm actually just going to watch. But let me know in the next episode if i should play them or if i should just watch them i don't mind either but you guys let me know gusto oh yeah he's looking good cliver scott adams come on boys play that oh yeah we're looking good we're looking good come on play it across shoot dominic solanke remember the name come on you cherries we're looking good we're looking good one nil up against west ham at home i'm liking it i'm liking it if we can get three points straight away off the bat yeah this is gonna be a beautiful season gusto beautiful oh here we are we're on the attack again play that Solanke. play that play that go on scott all right we're playing it back a bit but it's all right possession ball i like it elite ball here we are scott in What's going on? What's... Come on, Gusto. Into him, into him. Paqueta, don't let Paqueta shoot. Oh, God. Come on, boys. Go on, Shea Adams. That's nice. Solanke. There we go, Cliver. Go on, boy. Do him up. That's nice. Nice pace. Work it in. Work it in. Oh, he's done him. Scott, have it from there. Have it from there. Hello? What are we doing? Go on. Sinistera. Scott. Solanke. That's two. That's two. Yeah. Yeah, the boys are fighting. We're not going down without a fight. I like that, lads. Oh, my God. That's a ball in the half. Bowen. Paqueta. Don't let this boy shoot. Come on, lads. Oh, my God. We're just opening up. Oh, my God. Can't tell if that's Neto or Nano in the net. Right, decent off. Decent off. Right, let's kick off for the second half. Come on, boys. Let's keep that momentum up, you know. Keep the heads high. Even though a goal's gone in, 2 2, we're not losing. All right, it's not the end of the world. That's what I told them in there. All right, so they're going to come out. They're going to show us why. Oh, my God, hold on. Oh, beautiful. That's a bit of Colombian spice. Oh, God, this is bad. But listen, look at the pace. Look at the pace. That's why we signed him. That's why we signed him. Look at him. On his man. On his man. Ben Rama, where are you going? Where are you going? He's on. Oh, okay, he lost him a bit. All right, yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, God. Get into him. There we go, Gusto. Oh, I've messed up the camera again. I've messed up the camera again. Gusto, send that in. Okay, Gusto wants it. Never mind. Cliver, that's a goal. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we are, Tilray. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Come on, boy, whip that in. Okay, here we go. Nah, I can't. That's criminal. That's criminal. I can't. What was that? Here we are. This is it. This is it. You stone. Nice touch, son. Oh, that's beautiful. Fine. Here we are. Back in again. Okay. Who's stone? Cook. Here we are. Oh, this is it. Surely that is it, boys. Just hold it down now. Hold it down. I want everyone dropping back. Just slow it down. Just slow it down. Lovely takedown. I say you have it from there, son. Oh. Ooh. And that's it. Three points at home to West Ham. AFC Bournemouth, first game in charge. Look at that. We're looking good. We're looking good. First win of the season. First game of the season. And Dominic Solanke's already off to a mad start. But um, I was going to sim the next game. But as you can see there. Yeah. Playing Liverpool. And it's at Anfield. So I don't really think this is a game that you can sim. It's not one that I'm looking forward to either. But I think we should be able to hold our own. I saw promising signs there in that first game. There, I saw things that I liked. I saw things that I didn't like. But overall... A very good performance there at home. God help us. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. We're already pressing them. Oh, my God. We just could be, it could be a goal. <laughs> pressing already. Okay, boys. Okay. Gusto, restarting the whole plate. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Man, man. What the fuck, man? Oh, no. Oh, no. They're coming back again. Defense is just all over the place at the moment. Salah back in again. Don't let him shoot. Don't. Oh my god. Oh, go on, Clivert. This could be one back for us. Adams, Solanke. Grab that ball. Grab that ball. Grab that ball. Let's go, boys. Through his legs as well. Keep those shut, mate. Turn on the Jets. There they are. There they are. What's he going to do with it, though? Sends it in. That's nice. One more. One more. Get it, lads. Get in, lads. This is what I'm talking about. 2-2 two -two here at Anfield. And we managed to tie it up. Dominic Solanke. Absolute marksman. Boys. 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 Win the... Oh, my God. What's Neto doing? What are you doing? What is the whole back line doing? Just standing there looking at them. Uh, it's sub time. Clive, once again, he hasn't really, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't been too much in this game. Pretty much because we've been playing it down on the other side. But um, actually, you know what? We'll keep Clive on, but we'll take Sinistero off. He has been making them runs, but um, maybe Clive might show up in later parts of the game. Who knows? Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Send it in. Solanke, that's all yours. Oh, he doesn't miss. What a game. What a game. You don't know who's going to win it. Come on, boys. We could really nick this. We could really nick this. We've got, a, we've got a fresh leg on. We haven't got fresh legs on. We've got a fresh leg on. But I'm feeling confident, all right? Liverpool are looking a bit shaky, all right? They haven't played their best team against us. The attack's good. The defense, shaky as hell. Come on, boys. Oh, my God, no. Not my Hallett. Bro, what the hell, bro? I know Neto is 33, but you, come on now, man. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh. We should be leaving it with a draw, minimum. 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 We've done so well. We've done so well. It's just defensive errors. Stupid defensive errors. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Dominic Slanky. Get in there. Get in there. Grab that ball, son. Four goals for Dominic Solanke. He's already taken the ball home. He's taken home, he's taken home someone's knickers as well at this rate. Come on, boys. There's still time. Not for them, no. Not for them, not for them. Not for them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know what? I will take that. I will take that. Is, that is unreal. What a performance from Dominic Solanke. Oh, my day. Yeah, he's staying. He is staying. His price must have gone up by at least 100 mil after that. At least.
While Tavernier wasn't getting much playing time in our team as well, I've actually sent him on a two-year loan deal at Newcastle. I thought Newcastle would be pretty fun for him as well since they're in UCL. So, um, yeah, he's going to be getting to play some UCL football for the next two years. And once he comes back, hopefully he'll be developed a bit. Who knows? But, yeah, we've sent him over there so he's not rotting away in the reserves as well because I like the look of Tavernier. He's still young. He can still improve. So, um, yeah, didn't want him just sitting down in reserves not getting played as much so we sent him over to newcastle and i think he'll have fun over there it is tottenham hotspurs at home human son the lethal boy but no harry kane so we haven't got that to fear only richarlison if we can put a fight in against liverpool i'm expecting us to put a fight in here oh okay the defense is just everywhere once again and it's just a tap in for richarlison scott that's beautiful that can we get one can we nick one got one minute to get one solanke out to clive clive send that back in send that back in solanke what's he doing what's he what's he doing what's he doing What? I, I can't. I, oh, this game, honestly, it's got it's got so many problems. EA, fix your game. Right, we've made a few changes, but we need these changes to happen ASAP. Otherwise, Tottenham are going to get a fourth. Please. Oh, God. Sent him shots. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Well, you can see it there for yourself, people. 5 0. Well, guys, after that almighty beating, you join me here on transfer deadline day. We have got Brentford next. I'm not sure if it's home or away. I do need to check that. But I think we're going to leave it there for episode one of the Bournemouth career mode. Now, listen, guys, you saw that last game. Do we go ahead and sign a centre back that could potentially help us? to the January transfer window. I'm not sure how much we've got to spend, so we do need to check that. But do we sign a centre back or do we just leave it and hope that our boys pattern themselves up soon? Because clearly something is going wrong back there. You saw it for yourselves. If we were gonna go out and get a centre back, we've only got 16 million in the current budget to do it. Oh boy. So yeah, it wouldn't be any big names, but I'm asking for you guys' help. If you guys want that to happen, then let me know some names down below who we could go out and bring in to AFC Bournemouth to help us in that defensive position because that defensive position needs help. Also, if you do enjoy the way that I am doing it, just letting the guys play, then that's fine. But if you'd rather me play it myself, then let me know as well down in the comment section and that's fine as well. We will do some highlights instead um, of letting the boys do what they want to do. But yeah, I don't mind doing either. You saw what Dominic Solanke was doing without me controlling him. So imagine what you can do with me controlling him. You know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for episode one. If you did enjoy it, please, please, please smash the like button. All right, it goes a long way. And also, if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel. It is free and it also helps us reach our goal by the end of this year of 10,000 subscribers. I look forward to continuing this career mode, guys. Answer my questions down below in the comment section. Don't be shy because we need the help. And um, yeah, it's going to be a very, very fun but interesting journey. I'll catch you in the next one.